Go read us. This is Sagittarius weekly reading, May 23rd through the 29th there. Let's see what's going on here, you guys. Make sure y'all like, follow, subscribe, and hit the bell button. I've done the earth signs yesterday, fire signs today. We'll do water and air uh, after that. Uh, this is for your rising sun, moon, Venus, Jupiter, Cuspers, cross watchers, Sagittarius is out there. Take what resonates, leave the rest on the IRA. Somebody's in a blizzard. Somebody is cold. Somebody is uh, shutting down, working on their healing. And now you guys are going to have a soulmate come in. Somebody may be going to hook back up with you guys. Two of cups. Uh, after you guys haven't heard from them, probably like five years, they want to come back around. You got, or you guys are coming out of healing and now you're ready to, for your soulmate connection. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Ooh, y'all got a mother figure. Somebody very compassionate and caring. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Don't have to be. Yep. Y'all ready to take a risk, a leap of faith toward this new beginning. After being stabbed in the back, uh, people, places, and things, and leaving a place of a lot of negative influences. Now, that flipped in reverse. Yep. Somebody definitely could be not feeling very fertile, okay? Not very abundant. Uh, it took a toll on some of you guys. Uh, again, let's see what else Spirit Source Energy got for you Sagittarius out there. Y'all taking a risk towards something. A Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be a mother figure. Somebody got caught cheating. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody wearing a mask. Somebody is being sneaky around you guys with that Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Seven of Sword here. All right, let's see. Could be a baby mama. You guys are coming towards somebody uh, sneakily, all right? Uh, it could be a sneaky leak or it could be y'all just uh, trying to surprise somebody and sneak up on somebody. You guys got a lot of passion. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with that woo, with that Knight of Cups. And somebody is definitely uh, wondering if they're going to get their wish fulfillment. Maybe they're losing hope here with that star card. Or maybe you guys are already receiving your wish fulfillments. Somebody is in a third party. Somebody is could be fearing rejection. Somebody could be fearing rejection with that three of swords. Now we got that ace of wands. Ooh, somebody feel like they may miss an opportunity uh, to have their wish fulfillment, their dreams, okay, their fantasies or something. Nine of swords. Somebody's in their head like Fred and Frida. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's a lot going on. These cars are trying to just all kind of clap off at the same time. So yeah, somebody is over brokenhearted over a love or somebody has multiple lovers or somebody is cheating and putting you guys in a third party situation. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then there's Gemini. Uh, again, secret lover here, or you guys got somebody that want to be your lover and you're losing hope or losing inspiration that is going to uh, work out. Or maybe you guys are trying to just sneak in. All right, again, Whoa, somebody coming towards y'all with a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, uh, offer a business, offer a proposal or a met a wedding engagement proposal. So somebody got a lot of pressure on their back. They're releasing any worries over uh, finding someone or finding their uh, soul partner here or going towards something that they're passionate about. Wish fulfillment. Yeah, y'all guys are doing some healing. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, five of swords. Somebody's being very vindictive. Y'all are healing and somebody's jealous. Y'all got an X here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ooh, this all air sign. Somebody's very jealous. Somebody could be playing mind games with some of you guys. Yeah, got y'all in a stalemate trying to got y'all stuck. Y'all dealing with a, a married couple here. Queen of Sword and a King of Sword. They're not really talking. Okay, so this could be a married couple. Uh-oh, there's y'all third party. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Ooh, ooh, somebody got caught cheating. All right, Sagittarius, somebody got caught cheating. Yep, look at that. King of Wands too. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Somebody got caught cheating. This is like three kings here somebody is all oh okay I'm, i didn't say that out loud i say that with love but i didn't say it out loud okay i'm just saying look at there somebody got some communication coming in here somebody wanted y'all to sacrifice for something yep there was some justice coming in it will be served this could be a divorce coming in this could be somebody wanting to reconcile and get back together with you guys you were married at one time somebody was cheating on you guys uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Look at Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody's crying over spilled milk over a divorce. They want to come out of the cold. Yep, somebody that stabbed y'all in the back want a separation or want to try things over again with you guys. Yeah, somebody's hiding like how they really feel. Some of you guys may be walking away from this connection. Uh, people, places, and things that no longer serve you guys. Again, look at there. Following y'all own intuition, looking for some reciprocity. Y'all don't want people that's not going to give y'all reciprocity here. Look at there. Then y'all got this 
The uh, spirit is telling y'all to move on. There's the king of wands with the queen of cups. There's victory and success with this person. Yeah, you guys are taking action towards somebody that reciprocates. Y'all a little nervous though, but y'all coming back. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the knight of swore, and a soulmate. This could be a friend or somebody y'all know, but y'all definitely got victory and success uh, uh, with this person. All right, y'all a little nervous though. All right, for some of y'all, let's see what else spirit for our Sagis out there. Multiple stories. Y'all take what resonates, like three, three or four stories or something going on here. It's a lot. My head's starting to hurt. All right. Uh, look at this. See how they just slang in the cards out like in chunks here. I'm not taking that. All right. So again, that's y'all's story here. Y'all got victory and success toward a move, toward something y'all manifesting uh, toward y'all. It's the beginning. Y'all going to be getting some positive communication coming in. That's going to make y'all feel victorious because y'all going out taking action. One of the fastest moving nights. And again, soulmate. This is Y'all could be friends here. So this is somebody y'all consider a good close friend. You find them hot, sexy, attractive. It can be a Sagittarius, Sagittarius man or a woman. You guys are feeling very, uh, very victorious at this uh, point right here. And spirit is like, yeah, telling y'all it's time to move. There's a new beginning here. Take charge uh, again. And this is a balanced connection with some of you guys. Now, if I come back over here. This is definitely somebody here, you guys, somebody want to reconcile with y'all. There's a queen of pentacle. We saw the king of pentacle. So you guys pair up very, very, like three sets of uh, king and queen here. This could be the same person for some of you guys. Y'all both kind of mirror each other. You got financial stability. You got a lot of passion. You got a lot of love here. So again, reciprocity, uh, again, a cancer, Taurus, uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, balance at home and family life and a reconciliation. So some of y'all could be a business woman or businessman okay and then you guys got this uh somebody stabbed y'all in the back here that's like four or five scenarios coming out so again there's been a hard hard tough time you guys sacrificed for something and somebody stabbed y'all in the back now they're crying over spilled milk you guys could have it could have been y'all ex y'all were married to gemini libra queers y'all there's a lot of communication coming in there's a a, a a court battle is what I'm hearing and seeing a court battle. Okay, so this could be divorce court or child support or alimony. Uh, somebody wanted y'all struggling. Somebody wanted y'all to stay stuck and stay buried down with a lot of pain. So y'all could have been married to somebody that wanted to cause y'all and inflict pain. That's so fucking cruel. All right. Okay, and it could have been this Aries Leo Sagittarius right there because I that go with that. So now let me get this next set right here. And you can see where the king and the queen of swore here. This is another married couple here. Or you guys, this is the one person that however two or three people y'all are dealing with. Because there's multiple people here and it's a single person here. So again, you got queen of sword, stalemate, uh, playing mind games, some confusion there. Somebody's trying to play mind games. King and queen of sword. Again, somebody's very malicious, very jealous. And you guys are working on y'all healing. Uh, y'all don't trust this person. Uh, y'all got balance, but y'all are like keeping to y'all self. All right. So again, you got this knight of cups, this knight of wands coming up in here. All right. Somebody want to come in with a love offer, come toward y'all, very passionate. Uh, very stable, uh, could be hiding how they feel, uh, keeping it to themselves. Somebody got low energy. Uh, somebody may feel like they got a loss of direction or that they're not getting their wish fulfillment, but they actually are getting their wish fulfillment. Or maybe they feel like they missed an opportunity with y'all. Uh, again, it's could have been a one night stand and it broke up after that for some of you guys. And for some of you guys, there's definitely somebody want to come in. They see y'all as abundant, loving, cultivating, nurturing. They can have a lot of prosperity with y'all, a lot of abundance with y'all. Uh, again, y'all are fertile. Y'all like the Empress card. This is a mother archetype. This person could be a mother, baby mama, or y'all could be just that nurturing, compassionate person in this person's life. And they're ready to take that leap of faith with y'all. God damn, that was a lot of goddamn uh, messages. So I kind of kind of went backwards so I can make sure I got all of them. But that was a lot, Sagittarius. So y'all pick out what resonated with y'all. Don't forget to hit that bell button down there for your girl. Like, subscribe, hit that bell button, drop down, give me three affirmations, and give me three things you are grateful for today. We are doing this for 90 days. This is Kim Art's Road to Success, and y'all going to see y'all life just change for the better, saying some affirmations, saying some things you are thank thankful for. So we got, we got the number small, so it's not stressing nobody out. Do it when you brush your teeth or whenever you get a moment during the day or before you go to bed. Boom, it's going to change your life, and you're going to come back, and you're going to say, damn, Kim, that shit really worked. <laughs> All right, so I'll see y'all uh, next week or for some bonuses maybe later this week. Make sure you go to my Patreon account. Make sure y'all go to my YouTube 
this is my YouTube. Like and subscribe, become a member. Uh, also, be a part of the collective and go to my TikTok, Kim Arts Official. Uh, okay? And also, go join my Patreon and I'll put that link down there below and go to my website, book you some private readings or you can uh, call me at, or not call me, text me. I'm sorry, do not call me. Uh, text me at 469-219-9622 if you can't navigate the website to get a reading. But the reading website is kimarts.org. K-E-M-A-R-T-S dot org. Number 469-219-9622. Get on the uh, Kinetic Yoga Regimen Saturday and get on weightlifting if y'all need some inspiration or guidance. You can get on with my daughter on Saturday as well. Seating is limited for the yoga and seating is limited for any workout that y'all may need some kind of coaching or guidance. Uh, and I believe she will be doing that by Zoom. Okay. So thank you guys. Appreciate you. Peace, love, and harmony. See y'all later, Sagittarius.